Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Mango Burst, and I'm going to teach you how to install fonts onto your computer today. And then use them in programs such as Photo Filter, Microsoft Word, and PSP. So what you're going to do first is you're going to create a new folder on your desktop called Fonts, which I already have one, but if you don't know how to create a new folder, you just right click, go to New, and go to Folder, and just type in your whatever name you want to give it. I just called it fonts. So now that I have my new folder, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer or um, whatever internet you use. And I'm going to download um, one off of Kevin and Amanda, which is um, a site that has scrapbook fonts, such as pfonts, which are very popular today. So I'm just going to find one that I like. I like this one. It's called Peabrook. And you're going to click on it once. And now this dialog box should pop up. Hit Save and click on desktop and go to your fonts folder and here are my fonts I've downloaded so you're just going to click save once and this should pop up really easy not really easy really fast and click open so now that your folder is open this is what it should look like you should have these things on the side and your file right here so what we're going to do is you're just going to click under folder task extract all files and just go through this wizard, just keep hitting next, no matter what it says. And now, you should have this full um, font right here, and it should have two T's. So what we're going to do is we're just going to right click and hit copy. And you can X these out once you're done with them. Okay, now we're going to go to the start menu down here. And go to control panel. And mine looks like this. Um, you can, yours might be looking like this, which is the category view. Either way, you can just go to appearances and settings, appearances and themes and find fonts. Or you can just, which I have a fonts folder right here, and just go to this, double click on it. it. Might take a little while to upload them. Okay, so here are all the fonts on your computer. So now that you have your font copied, you're just going to right click in the random place and hit paste. And it should be like that and now your font is installed. So a lot of people have been saying, well, my font isn't on Photo Filter. Well, you have to make sure that Photo Filter is closed before you install this font. So see, now when I go to Photo Filter, which is right here, I'm just gonna click a new document, it's fine. And go to my text tool, which is up here and change, I installed Peabrook. So go down to Peabrook, which is right here. So it's, it's installing fine, it's just you have to make sure that um, photo filter is closed when you do it. So I'm just gonna type in mango first, and then your font is cool. So this works for all different editing programs and whatever you want. So I hope this helped you guys, and yeah, talk to you later, bye.